system in the future. This is our demand. Silvana, please welcome the president. I would like to do that, but what exactly does an evaluator do? Okay, I'm going to explain. So, your, what you have to do is that Ariana uh, is going to present her speech. Okay. You have to write out like, the title, what the basic, um, like what she's talking about. So, what it's about. Yeah. Second, you have to look at the good things. Like, for example, she has to, to, to deliver a message. She wants to convince, convince us or whatever she wants to do. You have to point out, point it out, and say how can you improve the speech, good things, bad things, and basic, basic summary. Okay. What you and like, is the conclusion uh, correlated well, to argument? Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Perfect. And here as well. And who am I evaluating? Yeah. All right. Uh, and. Uh, okay. And we are gonna have an evaluator for the analysis. So, okay. you want to start first? Uh, well, uh, yeah. well, I will be second. Okay. Uh, in case you didn't know, we have a word of the day. It's circumstance. Potential. Circumstantial, yeah. Can you explain it? It's the general theorem of detail. Detail. Detail, okay. Okay, so now we know our technical team. It's time to get to the, one of the more important parts is preparing speeches. For today we have two of them. The first speaker, uh, He's very experienced one, it's his ninth project, mm. and his goal for today is going to convince us. He's going to convince us of something. What it is, I don't know, but it has something to do with life. I have, excuse me, I have one question. <laughs> do we have table topic master and table topic evaluator for today? Yes, we do. Or the evaluator? I think you're the evaluator. Yes, yes, I have evaluator. We have. And um, maybe I'll, we'll start with you. I just love <coughs> it's your it's, the speech is titled Energy is Life. It's just love with quote. It's just love with quote. Energy is life.
And the reason is no internet connection. <laughs> you were shocked. Why school cannot work without internet? Because no electricity. As you understand, it was a very deep impression for me that in reality, in our modern life, even school cannot operate without internet, without electricity, even if it is a daytime. And today I decided to share with you my thoughts about the energy and source of energy, how it is influenced on our life. Actually, the purpose of my speech, according to the instruction, is to persuade you that atomic energy is the best kind of energy, most clean, most cheap, most pure, most effective, and the best way to have a lot of energy. And in the beginning, I would like to ask you, what kind of source of energy do you know? What can you suggest me about this type of sources of energy? Maybe you know other sources which are more better. Please. Uh, there can be natural sources like winds or water or yes. even sun, sunlight. Yes, yes. Good idea. We know about this energy. In reality, wind and sun, they are for free. But at the same time, wind energy cannot compensate all our needs. According to calculations of the scientists, such energy as sun and wind, first of all, they need sun and wind. <laughs> if it is dark, we cannot use sun. If it is no wind, no energy at all. But even in good circumstances, it can provide us only 3 or 4% only of our needs. It means it cannot solve the problem. And for our time, the most popular source of energy is steel, oil, coal, and gas. What do we do with this fuel? We need to burn it. And to receive a heating, to use it for generating electricity and so on and so on. Very old method of producing electricity. But at the same time, when oil, coal, and gas is burning, they produce what? They produce carbon dioxide. In the result, the quantity of oxygen which is necessary for our breeze and existence stay less and less and less. The another result of burning is that a lot of carbon dioxide go in the atmosphere and create a special clouds which create a so-called heating effect. It means the temperature on the earth is growing and growing. You can see how climate was changed during the last period of time. And it was many meetings and discussions in the United States on what to do with climate. Climate is changing. Ice is melting. The level of world water is growing up. And quantity of the dry land is less and less. And it is a real catastrophe for the world. They even implement the special quotes for burning coal. And every country received their quotes. And now every country even can sell their quotes to other countries and to receive some income. Can you imagine this situation? This is absolutely crazy. And what will happen later? We don't know. But the result of this burning is a very big pollution. We know that when coil is burned, as a result, we can receive a lot of sweat, which consists from carbon, a special isotope of carbon, which is radioactive isotope, carbon-18. And because we burn millions and millions of tons of this coil and oil and gas, the quantity of these flakes is growing, growing, growing. And it is impossible to waste such big amount of the radioactive isotope carbon-13 and it creates a real problem for all mankind. And now I would like to persuade you that atomic energy is the most clear and pure resource of producing energy. For example, in France, about 50% of all energy is produced still by atomic energy plants. 
and there are no any problems. It is very cheap, and we have a lot of uranium resources on the earth. In the same time, coal, oil, gas, the quantity of this fuel is less, less, and less, and it is more and more difficult to receive them from wells because we need to drill more and more deeper, deeper, and deeper, and it's still more expensive. And it costs a lot of money to use new technology, equipment, and it is really a big, big problem because the quantity of the fuel is limited. But uranium fuel is enough. Every uranium can work hundreds of years just for free to produce electricity. The only problem is security. But it is no big deal to provide security for atomic station. It depends only how people can manage this security problem. If people are smart, diligent, and follow instruction, it is very easy to, pre to preserve security for the station. And I think it is the best way for mankind to use this energy. And of course, there are some forces who are against this kind of energy. We you know Greenpeace, some Green Party, they try to do politics on these things because people sometimes are not educated. They don't understand the real situation. And I'm absolutely sure that they will come and all people will realize that atomic energy, this is the best way to receive electricity, there is more safety, pure and effective source of energy. Thank you. I didn't think about atomic energy for a long time. It's, usually it's something dangerous, something that uh, you have to be really careful about. And in, in this speech, I, I also agree with that it's good, but it, had, it should be managed in a good way. Now, let's go let's talk about something different, uh, about uh, maybe psychology. And uh, our next speaker, Diana, she's going to talk about psychology and her speech is called uh, I can have myself and I can have it too. Please welcome. Well, actually my speech has turned into a report which gives me a right to read. And uh, well, um, uh, so uh, our human nature is that Innately, we, we all desire to merge with others. And at the same time, we desire to have a sense of self. And uh, quite often, these desires con contradict with one, with each other. And uh, this, this is because at one level, we are, uh, at one level, we are the unique expressions of great oneness. And uh, we came here to exercise free will. Uh, and uh, on the other level, we uh, we are we belong to the oneness, and uh, and we actually contain everything that is in this universe. Uh, so these seemingly contradictory desires, they create an empty cushion pool within us, and uh, sometimes we tend to polarize towards one desire or another. For example, if we were traumatized uh, at our early lives uh, by, uh, by the, the relationships, we, uh, we tend to polarize towards independence. It's when we were controlled too much. And uh, uh, on the other hand, when, when we were traumatized by isolation and distancing, um, we tend to polarize towards merging with others, and our boundaries are too weak. And uh, and uh, you know, today in our society, we have a lot of uh, 
self-help techniques, and uh, they uh, just prosper in the different spiritual communities. And you may have heard uh, a lot of affirmations uh, such as fill up your own cup, everything you need is inside you. And uh, the only approval you need is your own. And uh, um, oh, not, not, no, no one can make you happy, only you can do that. So these are essentially self-centered techniques, uh, and they are focused on developing the self. And uh, for some people, these techniques are entirely liberating. They, they just feel great. And for other people, they are quite painful. So what is this? Um, I'm going to explain. So, and now we have come to the uh, definition of boundary. So what is boundary, really? Uh, boundary is a kind of uh, individual perspective which defines us from, from everything in the universe. So uh, boundaries, they are really our likes and dislikes. For example, I like chocolate ice cream and you like vanilla ice cream. Uh, in this case, our boundaries do not compete with each other. And uh, in another case, uh, someone may say, I want to keep my life private. And another person may say, uh, I want to be open and you are a part of my life. And that's why I want to tell everybody uh, the things that you have just told me. In this case, these boundaries conflict with each other. And these conflicting boundaries, they are uh, the basis of the major conflicts in all the, in all the relationships. So, uh, how do healthy boundaries develop? Well, they develop in a healthy family when, a, when parents allow those healthy boundaries to exist between themselves and their children. Um, well, uh, and here is the problem. Here is the problem because when children are being socialized um, in the family, uh, parents do not often acknowledge those boundaries and they often treat uh, children as if they don't have any valid likes or dislikes, any valid uh, wants and needs. And, um, uh, in this case, uh, in this case, uh, when the parent is unconscious, he might react defensively um, to uh, to the situation where a child tries to establish uh, his or her own likes and dislikes. Uh, and um, uh, also, I wanted to uh, to talk about. Situation in life, and, and uh, in life, well, it can happen. Then, uh, well, just try to imagine a girl and her mother. They are about to go to church, and the three-year-old daughter decides. Well, what I want to do is to wear my uh, is to wear my uh, boots, my uh, lucky Star Wars T-shirt. And my uh, uh, whatever, um, and, yeah, and my jeans. So this little girl she establishes her own boundaries, and these boundaries uh, conflict with what uh, her mother wants, and her mother wants her to wear a dress. So uh, instead of uh, talking to her daughter and uh, come to a mutual agreement, this mother decides to shake her head and walk away. So, uh, thus she sends her child a message, you can't have you and have me at the same time. Um, and uh, this is called the distancing boundary violation. There also can be an intrusive boundary violation, it's when um, a child receives the message, you can't have you and stay emotionally or physically safe around me. Uh, and this is also wrong and uh, painful. So, well, but today I have good news for you. Um, 
the door to your heart will be unlocked. The minute you understand that you may have adopted an unconscious and very limiting uh, belief that you can't help yourself and help other people at the same time. But the truth is, uh, this is not true. You can have yourself and you can have an intimate uh, connection and companionship with another person. And uh, you can have you and have other person as well. Because these desires, these two desires to have self and to merge with others, these two desires are in fact complementary. They complement each other. Well, uh, and um, uh, you can, uh, well, sometimes when uh, we are with people who are incompatible to us, there are too many boundary conflicts. And uh, they, uh, they just uh, don't allow us to stay united. But if we can live according to our own values, desires, and therefore according to our truth, this guarantees us that we will never ever stay alone, that we will never be alone, and uh, that we will find our true match, and uh, our relationship will be consistent, and, um, and deeply committed, and true. So, uh, just to summarize it all, I just want to say that you really can have yourself and have other people in your life. You don't have to choose between one and the other. Uh, this psychology talk is always get me. I have to think, thinking about my life, about the relationship between people. And I think it resonates with someone on one level or another. I saw some newcomers, like, uh, can you, English teacher, no. can you uh, just say, not everyone knows you, tell your name? My name is Vlad, I'm an English teacher. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and you all about you? Uh, so my name is Vlad, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, it's V and K. So, okay. Yeah, so professionally I'm a doctor, so I'm here in you like, you claim to just pursue my, uh, like, master's in a surgery, so I'm going to be a neurosurgeon. You're in Bahamas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> nice. Now, let's talk about the uh, second part of our meeting. And uh, I read, while preparing for this role today, I read one proverb, Italian proverb. If you sing, people who sing in summer, they dance in winter. And now, guests and those who were just sitting and listening, it's time for you to dance. And who's, the person who's gonna make you dance is no other than General Jesus. So, please welcome. <laughs> Thank you, but uh, may I ask uh, you what you do? We have too much music for so. Okay. We make free space because uh, here is too musical. Okay, friends, uh, now is the time for table topic session, and uh, it means that you have the chance to speak impromptu. I'm table topic master, I will give you the topic for your speech. You are limited in time, you have only two minutes, uh, short souls. Be not short, but too circumstantial. Your speech uh, should have introduction, body, and conclusion. It should be not be the answer on my question. Um, really, I have no question. Uh, my task is uh, will be quote saying a question maybe also. So deliver the speech. Use humor, use your personal experience, and uh, create magic in this room. Uh, do we have a volunteer for first uh, speech? I have a question. I'm not a volunteer right now, but I have to ask. What does circumstantial mean? This is uh, circumstantial hair. Uh, this is the word of the day. Use their, this uh, word as 
often as you can. And the meaning <laughs> of this uh, word is, for example, detailed, <laughs> or for example, not uh, directed. I'm a lawyer and it uh, resonates to my profession. So we have hard fact and we have circumstantial evidence. Yes. Okay. Yes. So try to use this word in your speech. I repeat my question. Who is ready to be first uh, speaker in table topic session? Okay, think about this. Uh, the topic for your speech uh, is the same. The chain, the chain is no stronger than its weakest link. I repeat, <laughs> the chain is no stronger than its weakest link. This is the topic for your speech, and I see the volunteer, please, go on. How do you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, let me, let me think for like a couple of minutes. Yes, uh, you have no few minutes, only a few seconds. Okay, so, so, so you, they have to execute on it. When they come to company and to introduce uh, the new stuff they have came out with. And if one of those people, two of those people, didn't do their homework right, the puzzle just doesn't fit afterwards. And you can't have uh, the whole framework as it should be. So, as, as in... In conclusion, I can say that this is probably that if you were talking about chain, you have to pay attention. I mean, not only you have to pay attention to the weakest links, you also have to pay even more attention uh, to these chains, and you may sacrifice some attention from the ones you're okay with, and to spend some more time on developing these weak links, because uh, you can. You can be 100% sure everybody is all right if they are not weak, but if you miss something in the process of development, people with these uh, weak links, you can, I'm sorry, fuck up the whole system by just neglecting some little details that might have been taken care of but weren't because you were uh, sure that, I look like eight people are okay, two are a little bit like, not ready, but we are good, we are good, good to go. Not like that, no. You have to be precise, and once you achieve some heights, there is some success, you may think, oh, my system is perfect. I mean, if there are some weak parts, I will just substitute them with good parts, but no, that will be too late. You got to take care of it since the very start of the, whatever it is, business company in public. Portion of motivation for all of us. Friends, I was impressed by two prepared speeches and I would try to combine this. The first uh, speech was about uh, atomic energy and uh, it can be dangerous. And the second speech was about psycholo psychology. And uh, I would quote by Rolla May, my favorite American psychologist. This uh, quote sounds uh, like it's dangerous to know, but it's more dangerous not to know. This is the topic for the next next uh, speaker. Who is volunteer to present his show? Jay, please. John. John, sorry. So, I would uh, repeat... I would uh, repeat the quote uh, by Rolo May. It's dangerous to know, but it's more dangerous not to know. Okay. Uh, give me 10 seconds. So, okay. Uh, we've all heard about, like hopefully, uh, about the saying, ignorance is bliss, right? Because uh, as a child you're so uh, innocent and you think like everything is uh, perfect everybody is so lovely and life will be great like there will be no difficulties you're gonna get chocolates if you cry for it it will be that easy but when you grow up it just doesn't work like that like if i start crying right there and have a temper tantrum nobody's gonna give me a fair ride for it like hopefully if that happens but i don't think so so 
That part is learning part. And in learning, we experience a lot of pain because it is difficult to realize that life can be difficult because you have to have discipline, you have to have some ideals, you have to work for them, you have to be with a group and maybe become a part of a chain for that matter and create a community that you can work together as one. Uh, so you have to learn all those things, but after you learn all those things, then What's your name? Okay. Excuse me, what's your name? Darina. 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 Okay, next uh, two minutes uh, to play cards. So please draw one paper and deliver your speech. Elena, would you like uh, to yes. draw the law? Yes, why not? Why not? Emotions. Um, yeah. <laughs> Energy. Energy, yeah. Soul. Soul. It's either something. God. Spirit. Our Lord. Is this Isaac Turk? No.
Uh, you're two minutes. Uh, yeah, so uh, thank you for this uh, topic. The first thing is, of course, uh, if like, I'm talking about my like, personal life, you know, uh, I'm a kind of uh, optimistic person, you know, we always believe in all those things, you know. So first thing, if I'm like, talking about, like, profoundly about you know, like, my own structure, how I uh, see the world, you know, uh, I believe in a God. Personally, if I'm talking about myself, I can't believe in a God. But the thing is, a part of this, you know, a part of this, uh, if I'm talking about, uh, okay, I believe, that's the one part, okay? The, uh, the, and, like, if I'm uh, talking about the second part, is a practical thing, you know? The world is, like, uh, running between the two paths, you know, the two pathways, you know? One is belief, and one is you practice something, you know? So it's this, both is, like, uh, kind of a separate from each other, a very separate, okay? Trust me. Because uh, if I'm talking about my experience, uh, yeah, because I'm a believer of any kind of religion, but it doesn't mean if you do or if you like pursue something like personally, and if you jump to to get something based of that belief, in that getting I like make any sense to you. Of course not. It not make any sense to you, right? So uh, for me. Uh, Believe is a different thing, trust is a different thing. For example, okay, talk about some kind of a practical thing. Like for instance, if I trust someone, okay, if I trust, if I have uh, some kind of a friend of mine, and if I'm trusting like a family of his uh, courage or whatever film like me, okay, mm -hmm. but I can't depend or rely on, like on him, yeah, for, for like for my uh, personal life, you know. So friend is a different thing. I trust, believe is a different thing. But in my personal life, if I have to earn money, if I have to uh, take care of my family behind, I have to work for them. I can't rely on my trust and belief. So uh, yeah, it's, so uh, to worship a God is a different thing, but to uh, fill your stomach, you need to work for that. You need to practically uh, stay for that. So, I'm stopping my time. Thank you very much, guys. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Once more. It's Thank you. 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 Thank
but we will combine them, right? Yes. Okay. Maria, are you ready? It's been so difficult for me, actually. <laughs> okay. will end 
good. I think so. Thank you. Thank you. Dear friends, uh, the table topic session came to the end, and now please make your choice about the best speaker during the table topic session. We have a small papers, and please uh, write the name of uh, your favorite speaker. Alex, uh, can you repeat uh, the whole list of all speakers during the table topic session? I can. Well, First speaker was um, was um, Vlad. Then there was Jan. After this was Ludmila. Was Darina. Vadim. Vadim. This was Vadim. Then Darina. Then and uh, there was Jan. Uh, no, no. Vlad, Jan, Vadim, Darina. After this, um, maybe Alex. The six uh, was. Um, your name is Darina, right? <laughs> uh, what's your name? The six was Diana. After it. Um, there was VK, Luda, and uh, two Ludmilas. Marina, Luda, Marina, Luda, Marina, Ludmila. Okay, thank you. Please, uh, friends, uh, write the name and yeah. give this paper to Alex. To me, first me, and then I give it all.
public speaking um, skills and public speaking tips that can be useful to his uh, audience. Uh, he started with an interesting uh, story and attracted the attention of the audience, which is a very good tip for, for all speakers. Uh, he himself is a very credible source uh, because he is a nuclear physicist. Unfortunately, he didn't mention that. It would be much better if, if he mentioned in the very beginning, for those who don't know that. Because one of the tasks uh, here in the project is uh, to be a credible source of information. So he is not just uh, a regular average person who, who likes atomic energy. He, he knows what it is. Um, he, he addressed the audience uh, in a very lively way, though speaking about a serious subject. It was not very tedious, it was not boring, it was not uh, something that uh, looks like a, a lesson or a lecture. It was a lively uh, discussion. He also used uh, not only eye contact, but, but also um, he asked the audience, so it, it was kind of interactive uh, speaking, which is good to some extent. Um, the organization of the speech was very good. He didn't use any notes, uh, which is also advised in the project not to use notes, because if you read, you cannot persuade anyone. Google will think that you are just reading what, what you wrote. What could the speaker have done differently? The only thing that I noticed was this floor which was squeaking all the time. I don't know why it is not squeaking all the time. <laughs> Maybe because Yuri moved to the table. This was the only place I... Ah, here, here. This is the best spot. If you... If it happens again, you need just to move to another part of the floor because it is very distracting. Uh, why I like this speech, because it was emotional, persuasive, and the topic was chosen very actual to our everyday life. Thank you, Vyacheslav, and we are hoping to listen to your last 10 speech as soon as possible. We hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you, Goya, for this uh, circumstantial report. And uh, we had another prepared speech uh, by Yena, and the evaluation will be given by John. It's going to be your first time doing this? Yes, it will be. Yeah, and please welcome him to the stage. Thank you. So, it was a really lovely evening, fellow Toastmasters. First of all, I have to start with that. So, Lena, uh, she really prepares well. Like, it's my second time listening to her, and it's my second time realizing that she doesn't just think, okay, I'll just uh, scribble some things on the paper and I'll just come here. No, she really puts some effort into the work that she's gonna uh, demonstrate here, and it is really important. I mean, she just excels at that. It's just wonderful. Uh, second of all, uh, she came here, here and talked about I can have myself, but I can also have you too. It was an interesting idea, and it was uh, he touched a psychologi psychological topic there, which was really important to our development, uh, our, our psyche, basically. Because in the modern times, there are a lot of self-help uh, gurus, almost, and they say, okay, if you make yourself happy, you'll be good. But she also said that uh, one second. Maybe the reason you're trying to get self-help is because you may have a trauma, which is nothing wrong with that, and it causes some solitude, some independence idea, and you try to separate yourself from the others. But she also concluded it with a really good way, and she said, we have boundaries, but and sometimes these boundaries do complex. But uh, if, if we can connect with other people 
and try to create ourselves in a different way. It will help us, both of us, all the community. And that indicates that by connecting with you, I can also create and be myself. That was what she said, and that was really powerful. So there are not two separate things, they're the same. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for the report. And um, Hello, our next evaluator is going to be our team uh, relations. And it's going to be presented by Alex Rousseau, our cameraman. Welcome on stage. Okay. I will. that we have um, three intrigues for the day. This is about the results. What about my evaluation? First of all, I would like to speak about the newly ideas, newly organization of uh, table topics. He mixed two Idea, standard idea of table topic, during which we simply pass the web to each other, and the idea of experiment, in which this is, this is something like of old uh, school sporting conduct. Because the man to speak not about something famous, but about something famous only to him, and then famous to the audience. And the audience should guess during uh, guess the topic, during the very little period of time, some minutes. So this is a good idea, and uh, this was uh, well executed. What about the speakers? The first speaker was Vlad. This was a very interesting speech. Because the speech was good structures. This was a good structure speech about, about what? About the structure. About uh, great systems like as uh, corporations. This speech was clear. But uh, better to improve the conclusion, which was uh, not understandable. Yeah, very frank speech, but sometimes, but a little bit unstructured. No introduction, but there was good chronological stage of the speech from the childhood to adult and this, this this chronology provided with necessary logic and the necessary structure. And there was good conclusion. Vadim. Good structure, gestures and conclusion. Yuri, as I mentioned, good experiment. With uh, with the audience. After this was Padina. There was good explanation of the essence of the speech, of the subject, of the secret subject, by the way, secret for everybody. The minus of such uh, speech is uh, absence of structure, but she had to be focused. And uh, she paused. 
there was the sixth speech was um, Helena speech, very frank speech, something about uh, nothing doubtful, but uh, the doubts were natural. What to do? Don't think about doubts. This is not a judge, especially criminal ones. And every of that can be very, very, very dangerous for you. There was also an other speech. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this was a good uh, choice of... Uh, Are you talking to me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> choice of Yuri to select uh, Alex to warming up the next uh, stage of uh, the topic session, the experiment session. The Alex law manner is plus uh, in such a situation because it is understandable. And uh, when the man speaks slowly, he is more understandable. Thank you. This uh, was very good uh, structure. This was a uh, French speech also. Very logical. There was, uh, after this, there was DK. Very dynamic speech. Very frank. Trying to show all the bias of the topics. All the different samples, different comparisons. A little bit chaotic, but successful speech. Good first speech in the club. After this, uh, the UK was followed by Luda. When the speeches, this was streams of thoughts. Simply one thought uh, and another thought, uh, which is spread with, uh, with um, the product of city, but not connected. One is the second is not connected. This is something like as uh, water in the lake. What to do with this? Try to be a little bit uh, focused and not to think much about the public. The task now is to learn to speak. And after it, when you learn to speak, you can try to guess about public. Marina. The task was unusual for you and maybe not very understandable, but anyway, she managed to try to do your best to open the task. It was very frank, very sincere. Maria shown, uh, has shown you as a speaker, anyway. The same about uh, your errors, your mistakes are the same as uh, Ludmila, the first. The, the, the table talk session was finished by second Ludmila. And uh, by the way, all the table structures question was circumstantial because one man against past another man. This procedure is circumstantial. But me like just introduction. Because the introduction was in the title. It, and it was just successfully to start the speech, to push it into the air, into the atmosphere of the room. It was, the speech was structural and short. And one new place. Very common. No conclusion. The conclusion is usually we have one sentence. But the audience sometimes cannot catch this conclusion. The speech, 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 speech. You listen and bam, no speech. Because nobody understood the conclusion. Now, about the most interesting. The about the results. We have three new figures. The first two new figures. I'm sorry, two. We have three new figures. Three new figures. 
Doesn't matter how did you vote. The matter is how we collect the votes. <laughs> yeah. who, who collect? Who collect? The votes were collected by Josep Sarionovich. Crouch sounds as much as possible. I notice yeah. it. I notice it for during some meetings. 
you like this. It's your habit, yeah. maybe, not bad habit, I think, yeah. to use such sound. Then, Luda, six time. Vike, um, four time. Then, um, Yelena, Yelena, our guest, three time. And then, uh, John, Vadim, Idarina, one time, but uh, John but it one time, Darina approximately. I can say we did one or one half. Mm -hmm. And we have a person who didn't use this fresh sound. It is Vecislav, mm -hmm. who made uh, us. <laughs> he today is the perfect articulator. Congrats you. Thank you. Report, her essay is Ivana, and she prepared some good and bad things about your speeches today. <laughs> because we are short of time, I will discuss not everybody's mistakes. Which is well. You said many tones of something, but tons. Children socialize in the family. I think not in the family, but in society. And very limiting belief. Very limited belief. Очень ограниченный. You said circumstances, circumstances to three times more than any other speakers and uh, Mark Twain. He is not Twain, he Twain. Mark Twain. Uh, we are more knowledge. Это нас это научил Пасибус. You should say we are more knowledgeable. And you must predicate in the sentences we and some one previous experience. Where is the predicate? We lost it. Elena, very big mistakes. Our life is love or don't love. Every day we are using. If every day it's simple, uh, present simple, but uh, continuous. We can say we are using uh, underground and so on.
just several remarks uh, as to speeches uh, Vyacheslav as usually was sh seven minutes sharp like seven zero zero it's funny how his how his brain works I I cannot go with it I cannot understand it it's a miracle for me uh, Lena was a little bit longer, but uh, her, her speech is, is more deep and, and it is a report, not, not a speech, as she said. Uh, she was about 8 minutes 56 seconds. It's, so it it's be... like personal meditation. Yes, yes. Uh, there are some projects in Toastmasters that last about 10 minutes. So maybe this is one of those. But as to table topics session, uh, it was very good because most of participants used two minutes and ten seconds, two minutes five seconds, two minutes three seconds, two minutes one second. Uh, only three uh, speakers were too short. Uh, you cannot come here and say one sentence. What is the, the reason for that? You come here and you speak at least for one minute and 30 seconds. This is the least possible time to speak. After you spoke one minute, 30 seconds, I show you brief. It means that your speech was, uh, was done, was done. So three people, it's Yelena. This is your first time, of course, you were shy. Uh, it's Lyudmila. It's not your first time, but Lyudmila. Yeah. yeah, it's me. Yeah. But it was, was too short. But uh, for me, it was task not for the. Uh, no, 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 no. The task was for everyone make a speech. This is the task. You make a speech. So one minute is not enough. It's too short. And uh, uh, and Marina, fifty seconds. You can <laughs> say much more. I was lost. <laughs> okay. My my. Uh, all the leaders were on time. But uh, our table topic evaluator, he took 11 minutes. It's a lot. It's too much. Thank you. This master is, in, is an interesting experience. You, you, can, you don't come here just to talk or to listen to others. Like one thing that it taught me is that we have to be open-minded and sometimes